Hi, my name is Tommy Chase. Thank you for sending your, thank, thanks, thank you for sending your kids here. I'll see you later. I thought that'd be funnier. Um, no, but in all seriousness, good morning, everybody. I'm so honored to be in front of you today. To be representing this class is a great responsibility because no matter what I say, it will be hard to capture in one speech all we have accomplished this year. This is the hardest thing I've ever had to do because there are no words that can describe my feelings for this place and no description that can encompass my emotions for the group of people I'm so lucky to call my classmates. No matter where my life takes me, with college and far beyond that, nothing will ever replace Moses Brown and no place will ever have the same impact MB has had on me. The people here and what they stand for have single-handedly shaped who I am. I can't thank co people enough for helping me along the way. There are a lot of people, but these people are specific. First, my advisor, Lori Center. Her calm demeanor has kept me centered. <laughs> Second, Ms. Phipps, one of the nicest people in the whole entire world. Mr. Madsen, great leader of this school. You can, you can smile if you want. <laughs> and last but not least, Willie Edwards, who showed me the true meaning of compassion. As I started to think about this class, I realized that there was not one way to sum up who we are, except our willingness to have fun and be together. When we come back for our 5th, 10th, and 15th year reunion, we'll start to really understand what type of class we were at MB. However, one 12-hour period stood out to me as an indicator for the future. On the Tuesday night before the last day of school, several of us were planning the last day of school breakfast for seniors. It started with about 10 of us making a list of what we needed to forget from Stop and Shop. Then it continued with us making pancake batter for the morning. However, we realized we needed some help along the way, and we knew just for the turn. After a quick post in the class Facebook group, asking for a little help in terms of buying food, drinks, and other small parts to make the breakfast run smoothly, we almost instantly had 20 kids volunteering to bring food and drinks or asking what they could do to help. Grills were moved, spatulas were taken from kitchens, and pancakes were flipped. The collaborative and family aspect of, of that one moment is what made it so hard to, get even, to even get out of the car and go to school on that last day. For almost three hours, we shared each other's company, listened to music, and just reminisced on our time at MB. I will never, ever, ever forget that day. One immediate legacy our class will leave is the connection we made between the seniors and underclassmen. When I was a freshman, I could barely walk through Lowood's warehouse without getting scared. I couldn't even look at the seniors. Now we have intricate relationships with them, guiding them through their first years of high school. It has broken down division between grades and has made this campus a much more lively place. This spring, I was at a parent's question and answer forum, and a parent asked me to describe my experience at MB. I could have given so many examples, but I realized that what defined my experience at MB is how few times I felt hopeless or lost. Sure, there were times when I lost a game or was feeling sick, but I can honestly count those times of hopelessness on one hand. Any high school is going to have bad experiences because high school is high school. But what made MB the place it is for so many of us is not only how scarce those bad times were, but how we are guided to learn from those mistakes and improve from them. One experience in particular that will stick with me forever is taking Latin, mostly because it didn't come too easily to me. But I learned from Ms. Brendel. I saw someone who loved their job. But most of all, I learned from her stories. I'm not gonna lie, her stories were a great distraction from class. But they had so much meaning to them. What I took away from a combination of learning from about Latin, Roman culture, and Ms. Brindell and her stories was how important it is to leave a legacy and how to do it. With that being said, there's no doubt that our class was a front runner in quitting Quaker Nation, a legacy that will last forever. During the fall of our sophomore year, several of us decided to make a, create t-shirts and a Facebook page to help, to help keep people up to date with all things in the nation, pushing them to attend school events and bring all their school spirit with them. This is what we call Quaker Nation. And since then, the general support for all things Moses Brown has increased exponentially. This year especially, there was never a dull moment for the nation. From the field hockey championship in the fall, to the Super Bowl, and all the way through the lacrosse finals last week, the love has never stopped. And with that, comes maybe the hardest part of leaving MB, and letting go of the best four years of my life.
Um, Thanks, guys. <laughs> that sign has been everywhere this year. And clearly, it's been through hell and back. I don't know if you can see it. Karen, hold it up. It's kind of beaten up. Um, but with the departure of our class in such a spirited group, we have to reluctantly hand over the signs to the junior class. This is a big responsibility. It needs to be handled like a new car. I'm serious. Like a minivan. I have a minivan. <laughs> Lastly, I just wanted to th take the time to thank two very special people. My mom and my dad. You guys are the best. Mom, uh, where are you? Hey, Mom. <laughs> mom, having you at school has been the best thing to ever happen. And although having you as a teacher was almost impossible, <laughs> having you as a mother was the best. It still is the best. It still is the best. <laughs> and Dad, you have taught me how to be a great man, but also how to be the hardest worker. You never failed to impress me. And with that, I want to say thank you again, and congratulations to the class of 2015. It's been a ride. Thanks, and go MB.